Uh, as you are aware, our regulator in New York, the New York Department of Financial Services, has created a, a first-in-class bit licensing regime for virtual currency businesses, which we are very proud of. What I'm afraid of, some are saying that they may take businesses throughout this country abroad and get regulated someplace else. What say you on that? I say if they're complying with the laws and doing the right by investors, uh, there's, they, can, they can be here. But if they're not complying with the laws, uh, that, that uh, investors will get harmed. I'm out of time. Uh, the gentleman from West Virginia, Mr. Mooney, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission may be the agency that most directly threatens the livelihoods of West Virginians today. I never imagined I would say that because American presidents are not supposed to so brazenly weaponize the SEC to push through radical climate change policies that they're unable to pass through Congress. When the Obama-Biden war on fossil fuels was first launched in 2009, coal mining gamefully employed nearly 28,000 West Virginians. Today, that number has shrunk to 14,000, a 50 percent decrease. And the SEC has proposed a crippling climate disclosure rule to mandate all sorts of detailed emissions data for public companies and many non-public companies. The SEC already requires the disclosure of material information to its investors, so let's not kid ourselves and say it's about materiality. SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce put it best when she stated, quote, although styled as a disclosure rule, the goal of this proposal is to direct capital to favored businesses and to advance favored political and social goals. In other words, about, it's about naming and shaming fossil fuel companies. Uh, some estimates suggest this disclosure rule could cost companies over, over $100 million to comply. So, Chair Gensler, the SNC inspector, General issued a scathing report saying you were rushing through rules without adequately considering the cost. So you, can you tell me today how many jobs this climate disclosure rule will cost West Virginia families? Um, uh, again, sir, we're, we're not a climate regulator and we're merit neutral. This is about companies are already making disclosures and trying to bring some consistency to that disclosure. That's, that's what it's about is, with all respect, not about uh, something further than that. Uh, and uh, in terms of the economics, it's really about ensuring that investors get the benefit of those disclosures. And if they want to go long West Virginia coal, uh, they have the right information to, to long means to purchase companies, that public companies. And it's only about public companies. Again. Well, thank you. Uh, despite your assurances, I think it's clear this rule will be devastating to my state of West Virginia. I'd like to submit for the record, Madam Chair, the Inspector General's statement on the SEC's management and performance challenges. Madam Chair, Without objection. I'd like to submit for the, the record the Inspector General's statements on the SEC management and performance challenges. So ordered. And I would also like Without to objection. submit. Thank you. I'd also like to submit for the record an op-ed I wrote for the Washington Times on the SEC's climate disclosure rule. Riveting, without objection. Thank you. Um, I do have a couple more questions, Chair Gensler. How many climate change science? How many climate scientists does the SEC employ? Uh, we we employ economists that are more general economists. So uh, some of them might have some knowledge, but I I just think of them as market economists and financial okay. economists. Okay. Uh, second, another question, and it's the yes or no one. Would you agree? that Congress is better suited than the SEC to enact climate policy? Uh, I'd say more straightforward. We're not a climate policy agency. We're a market regulator. And it's about full and fair and truthful disclosure about public companies. OK. Well, we'll go with the yes or no again. Do you th uh, yes or no, does the SEC have the legal authority and expertise to enact climate policy? We have the legal authority to enact rules about disclosure about risk and climate risk is something investors today are investing in. So it's just about uh, authorities about disclosure about uh, these material risk in the financial companies, in, in companies that are accessing the financial markets. Okay. But well, it sounds like you'd agree the SEC doesn't have the legal authority to enact climate policy then. We're, we're not a climate policy agency. We're a 
market regulator and a disclosure-based regulator okay. in, uh, for public companies. Well, I ask because this, this rule is designed to choke off capital from politically disfavored source of, sources of energy. Let me be clear in my last 30 seconds. The SEC has no business enacting climate policy, which is exactly what you're doing. No matter what changes are made to this proposed rule, it's rotten to the core and should be rescinded entirely. The SEC and the Biden administration must end its war on fossil fuels and return to focusing on the needs of investors, not activists. Thank you, Mr. Madam Chair. I yield back.